Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create some glitch effect in After Effects. First step, let's make a new comp. Go to Composition, click on New Composition. I'm going to rename this as Glitch. I'm going to go with 1080p's, um, 5 seconds, black background, click OK. Now, for the sake of reference, I'm going to use this typo created in Illustrator. I'm just going to copy this in uh, After Effects. I'm going to make this white and go to File, Save As and make sure that you're on Adobe Illustrator file AI and click on Save. So this is the glitch text. I'm just going to drag it in here. I'm going to right click on the text, go to Create, Create Shapes from Vector Layer. I'm going to delete this bottom one. Now it's in vectors. So I'm going to press and hold Shift, scale it down, and you also can change the colors however you want it. From here, I'm going to create a solid. So go here, right click, New, Solid. I'm going to go with a white background and then click OK. Now here you can see the effect and presets. If you don't have this, go to Windows and select Effects and Presets. And type here in Fractal Noise. And here you can see the Fractal Noise. Just drag it in here to the white solid. Go to the Fractal Type, select Dynamic and Noise Type Block. And we're going to distort this. So go to the contrast, increase the contrast. I'm going to go with like 200 brightness and minus 22, something like that. Go to the transform, uncheck uniform scaling. And we're going to scale this up a little. So it's going to make it wide. I'm also going to play with this scale height. I'm going to decrease it. Now make sure that this is at the very beginning here. And we got here the evolution. So press and hold Alt and click here on the time watch and the evolution. As you can see down here, you got this effect code. Just type in time asterisk 2000. So if I hit play, it's going to go like this. From here, we're going to go to the white solid right click and click on pre-composition. I'm going to rename it as glitch map. Make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Now you can uncheck the glitch map and click on the glitch text. We're going to go to the effects. Now type in displacement map. And here we go. Displacement map. Just drag it into the glitch text. And here I'm going to select. You got the two glitch and select glitch map. And now we got this glitch map that we created. So uh, I'm going to pull this somewhere around here because I want the glitch to begin from here. And press here the stopwatch, max horizontal, max horizontal display and the max vertical display. Right now it's on 5.0. I'm going to click on this and press U. So here you can see the horizontal and vert vertical displacements. I'm going to go back to zero here, enter zero by zero. And from here, it's going to start glitching. So I'm going to distort it. I'm going to go up. And you also can increase this or decrease it. You can go, I'm going to go with like 35, something like that. You also can pull these little diamonds to make it more even dynamic. So if I hit play here, you can see it starts to distort and just start animating, you know. And here I'm going to add zero by zero. So here it's going to end. So let's check it out. And I'm going to select them all, right click, keyframe assist, click on easy ease. This is going to make it even more smoother. And you also can copy these, press Control C and I'm going to copy these somewhere around here. Control V. And this is how you make a glitch in After Effects. Thanks for watching and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.